If you've ever struggled to remove backgrounds of your AI ad, then this video is perfect for you because I'm going to show you two very easy and quick methods to remove complex backgrounds using Photoshop or Illustrator. So I've opened up a graphic right here within Photoshop and I'm going to remove the black background, which tends to be a lot harder than removing white backgrounds, to be honest. And then we've also got a lot of intricate detail right here within this skeleton which should make the job more difficult. Now, one quick tip, if you are going to go down this manual route of removing backgrounds, then I would highly recommend upscaling your graphics beforehand. That's going to give you a lot more pixels to work with and should make it easier to isolate that background color. And this is just the first method I'm going to show you within Photoshop. And the second method is sometimes even more effective with Illustrator, so definitely stick around for that. But now, once you've got your graphic open, you want to head over to select and click on color range. In this window, you will see this sort of color picker and you want to click on the actual background of your image right here. Then choose invert on the right hand side. You want to kind of try this fuzziness slider as well because the lower it is, the less of that color it's going to select. So as you can see, it gets kind of more blurry and blurry and now it's completely ruined. And the higher this slider, the more of your background color it's going to select and um, effectively erase. So let's compare this, 200 looks pretty good. If I turn this down, you can see it loses a lot of the detail right there. So I'm going to turn this as high as possible. Um, dependent on your graphic, you might want to you know, mess around with this and find the sweet spot. Uh, but it, this looks good to me, so I'm going to click on OK now. As you can see, it's now selected that right there. And I can use the uh, raster mask or uh, create a mask from selection feature right here, uh, which you get on this uh, little extra bar. If you don't see this bar, you can also find it in your layers panel at the bottom right here. So click on this symbol. And there we go, it's erased the background. Now I can actually add a background color right here in the layers panel so we can see an example. There we go, that is pretty damn clean really good and now this works with different t-shirt colors of course and um, so that's a nice simple and easy method to remove challenging backgrounds with photoshop is by using the color range feature so now i've opened up the same graphic right here within illustrator and you get this nice little panel added as well which shows the image trace feature now if you don't see this panel you can still click image trace up here if you have your image selected if you don't see that whatsoever you can also go to window workspace and choose Essential Classic. That's the workspace I'm using, and that's why I'm seeing this button up here. Um, so I've got the same upscaled image as before in Photoshop, and I'm now going to click on Image Trace. Then I'm going to open up the Image Trace panel to configure some settings. Now, first of all, this Auto Color preset button right here works wonders sometimes. So try clicking on this, it should refresh your results and sort of automatically vectorize this. And I've often found that this button right here gets better results than actually messing around with all of these advanced sliders. And once that's refreshed, one more thing that we should do to actually remove the background is go to this down here, Ignore Color and just check this box. Now by default, it is probably going to have the wrong color selected, like white in my case, but not to worry, you can use this color picker right here, then click on the actual background of the image. And then as you can see, it's going to refresh that and erase all of the black, uh, which is perfect because now we literally only have white left over. And this is also a vector, which is perfect. So now all that's left is clicking expand up here, that's going to turn it into vector paths. And now I've also prepared an artboard to take a quick peek at this. So I think in this case, uh, for this sort of graphic, uh, this result's actually a lot nicer because there's definitely no black left in this. We've only got white and we've got a vector format. So yeah, amazing result with the um, image trace feature within Illustrator, and we can also scale this to any size we want. I recently discovered a new free method to upscale your graphics and get really amazing results better than with any of the methods that I've shared in the past. If you want to learn how to do this new upscaling technique, make sure to check out this video next.